All sample data set files are located under sample data folder, which is also located in application directory. There are three types of sample data from active survey and passive survey and active passive combined surveys. Active and passive sample data sets are numerical synthetic data created by using the seismic modeling algorithm, which is also part of this software. And this active passive combined data is a real data collected along the local highway. And all of these sample data sets are already in PS format without source receiver setup. Active sample data sets to generate 1D and 2D velocity profiles were already demonstrated in these two separate video tutorials. And this particular video tutorial will cover passive and active passive combined sample data sets. In theory, both 1D and 2D receive arrays can be used for passive survey, but the passive survey using 1D receive array is identical to this active passive combined survey. This slide illustrates how that sample data set called VS1D MASW.DAT was generated. First, it was assumed there were total 8 field records generated with all this source receiver configuration, but all of them were formatted and combined into one file. So whenever you import this sample data set, you have to choose formatted seismic data, not seg2 seismic data. First, 24 channel receiver array stayed at the same place all the time and this is channel number 1 location and channel number 24 location here. And there were a uh, total 4 different source offsets were uh, used on this side, which is a forward shot because this is the channel number 1 location. And then another 4 different source offsets were assumed on the other side, which is reverse side of the uh, receiver array. So total 8 field records were generated. And this chart illustrates relative location of receivers and source for eight different field records. And this table shows the summary of all that information. This chart shows how that sample data set called dippingbedrock.dat was generated. There were originally total 20 field files or field records were generated but all of them were formatted and combined together to make this one file. So whenever you import this data set, you have to choose formatted seismic data, not SEG2 seismic data. And this chart shows, for example, the first field record or the first record, record number one had 24 channel receiver array located here with the uh, receiver spacing of one and a half meter and the source offset of nine meter. And then the entire source receiver configuration moved each time by nine meters, 19 times to generate these total 20 field records. These diagrams illustrate how those passive sample data sets were created through seismic modeling algorithm. These four sample data sets were created by using four different types of two-dimensional receiver arrays. And these yellow arrows indicate incoming direction of modeled surface waves. And each asterisk mark indicates the location of that source point. So each data set contains four instances of surface wave generation. And each successive generations were apart by approximately two seconds. The sample data from active passive combined survey is called rdmasw.dat. It is a real data set collected along the local highway. And this type of MASW survey is sometimes called roadside MASW survey. And the data contains 
Total 18 records of 24 channel acquisition collected through conventional roll along acquisition that used the 10 pound sledgehammer as an active source. So it was basically an active survey to generate two dimensional velocity cross section at the end, but the only difference was it adopted a long recording time of 120 seconds. So the recording was triggered by this active source of 10 pound sledgehammer, but it continued for much longer time than normally used in active survey so that it can capture ambient vibrations which basically consist of passive surface waves. In that sense, this is called active-passive combined survey.